Good morning, ASC family, and welcome back to LA. So chic. This is a place where we talk about all things fashion, lifestyle, DIY, and drink carrot juice from wine glasses. It's a place where you're always welcome. I'm Nishi Richardson, and today I'm going to take you guys on a room makeover. Let's go. Today's makeover is not about my living room. This was just a comfortable place to sit. But what I am making over today is my dining room, aka dining nook, place to eat, whatever you guys call it. I'm making it over because, and you'll see in the video, I liked the table I had. I liked some of the elements that were in the room, but it just wasn't a place where I could sit and actually eat and be comfortable. Now that my husband and I have a little one, we want to make sure that we have a nice place to gather as a family. Yeah, that's basically it. You guys know the deal. Let's get started. I'll show you what I did first. So this is what the dining nook or the dining room, whichever one you prefer, looked like before. I had a table there, but it was just too large it really wasn't letting me be great so i had to get rid of it by get rid of it i mean it's in storage because it's a fantastic table as you can see everything was kind of the same setup as our old place but that just didn't fit the space so i was like let's change it first things first i took everything out of the room except for the buffet Then when all of the furniture except for that was out of the room, I cleared out everything from inside the buffet, of course, in order to move it because this is heavy. Then to start, I am going to put in somewhat of, of a mirror mural, similar to the industrial mirror that you guys have seen on TikTok, but I started by using painter's tape to measure out exactly how spaced out I wanted the mirrors to be. And you'll see I use the square mirrors from Ikea. And I'm using the painter's tape as somewhat of, sp of spacers per se. Of course, when you're doing this, make sure that you use a leveler to make sure that everything is exactly level and spaced correctly. After I got everything how I wanted it, as far as the spacing, I created a second roll of painter's tape around the outside to mimic what would look like a window here. Because when you paint it, you'll see that it's going to be really cool. And then my husband helped me move the buffet out. And then I did some cleaning, wanted to make sure the baseboards were clean, vacuumed, cleaned up the floor as well. And then painter's tape all around the perimeter of the room because I'm going to paint. The paint color I'm using is from my previous DIYs. It is a Nano White. And this is from Bear. So as you see, I painted all the way around the painter's tape, but I am leaving the quote unquote ugly renter's beige on the wall because it's going to create a moment and look like a window once we're done painting the entire room. Okay, we have a couple of coats of paint on the walls and now it's time to peel off our painter's tape. See how everything looks. Once the painting was complete, I can do the fun part, which is removing the painter's tape. And you can see now that because I left that beige color there, it created what now looks like somewhat of a mirror mural. Move the buffet back into the room because it's going to line up pretty much directly with the mirror moment I've created. 
And then I went outside to sand down two boards I got from Home Depot that are going to be our shelves in the room. And they're gonna fit exactly above the window moment that we created, creating somewhat of a fake outdoor window shelf. I sprayed the brackets that I bought off of Amazon with some spray paint just to match the wall color a little bit. I'm really going for some neutral tones in this room. Make sure you wear a mask when you're doing this because you can see there's a lot of off gas. Once I was done spray painting the brackets, I made my measurements on the wall. Also made sure that I found the studs because we do not want these shelves falling down on us. Measured them out exactly. Made some markings on the wall where I wanted the brackets to be. And then we are pretty much ready to install. Made my holes of course using the impact driver and then Place the brackets right over the measurements that I made and screwed it into the studs. Make sure that you use a leveler when you're doing this as well because you do not want your shelf to be crooked at the end. I prefer to use brackets that had a lip on the end just to make sure that my shelf was going to be absolutely secure because I do want to put dishes and pots on the shelf. As you can see, I placed the bracket or installed the bracket behind the mirror to align with the top of the beige wall or mirror trim, I guess you could call it. Did the same thing on the opposite side for my other bracket for the shelf. Made sure it was level and then placed it on. Replaced the mirror, made sure it was level. And just a tip, I adhered these mirrors to the wall using command strips. So this is very renter friendly if you don't wanna do a whole lot. Then measured out about a high I wanted my second shelf to be. Did the same thing, make sure your brackets are aligned. Drill your holes using your impact driver and install your brackets. Now it's time to finalize the shelves and make sure that they're secure as well as screwed into the brackets. Now it's time for a little bit of styling. Now that the shelves are done, I got a rug from Ikea. I placed it diagonally here in the video, but I ended up, as you'll see in the next portion, putting it right in front of the buffet just because it looked better. This is the Thrift Flip. I'll link that in another video. This table and chair set is absolutely amazing. I got it for a fantastic price and it was much less than I was planning to spend on table and chairs from West Elm that I originally liked. This turned out to be much cuter, much more comfortable, and much more cost effective. So folks, always check Instagram and Facebook Marketplace before you go ahead and buy something really expensive. I begin styling the shelves. I love plants. I know a lot of you guys do too, so make sure to include some greenery. Now I have more space for my pots, and pans. Adding some mason jars as well to the shelf. I am still keeping this shelf here just because it's so helpful as far as storage for some of the food items that we have since our apartment does not have that much storage pantry storage and just styling the shelf
I wanted to as much as possible move a lot of the things off of the buffet itself just because it gave the room a little bit of a lighter touch. Here I use the Hema and this amazingly well-priced pendant light from Ikea that of course I'll link down below for you guys as a final touch in this room. And of course, because I'm not that tall, my husband helped me install this into the roof and ta-da. As a last and final touch for the room, I am putting in some of the digital art from my Etsy shop, Alanea Brown. Very simple. You purchase the art, you print off the size that is most applicable for what you want to do in your space, which for me was the 8x12. Download it, click print. Make sure everything is correct. And voila, it comes directly out of the printer or you can print it at Kinko's or any other place that makes prints. I'm using this Ikea wall frame. Placing the print inside. Closing the back back up. And voila, we have our beautiful wall art. So shameless plug, go ahead and get you some of those lovely prints off of my shop, which I will link down below. This is where I was supposed to show you it installed, but alas, it didn't come out. So once again, this is the before look. If you guys remember what the room looked like before. And this is the beautiful after. So happy with how the space turned out. It's like a completely different place. Lots of storage space. And guess what? Art from my last DIY. I'll link that above as well if you guys want to see how I did that. Happy with how the space turned out the shelves add a great deal of space and the thrifted table and chairs really are a fantastic and unique touch if you guys like this room and what you've seen so far in the makeover don't forget to subscribe Tell your friends, like this video. You guys already know.